Oh my god. Okay, I'm done. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I have something a little new. Um, I understand that my hair is a mess right now, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that in a second. Um, this video is about me uh, showing you guys how I would fix my hair personally. I understand that my hair is so growing out. I'm so growing out my hair, to be honest. And as I'm growing it out, um, I'm still kind of trimming off some parts that I believe aren't as curly as the rest. So I was like kind of hesitant whether I would even make a hair routine video. Uh, my hair routine video, what products I use, uh, what I do before, and what I do during the process, and what the result looks like at the end. But I feel like it's just like, since I'm still in the middle of my hair journey, I feel like it'd be a fun process for you to see what I usually do um, when I fix my hair. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you what I do before I even try to fix my hair. Alright, here I am with the little shower voiceover with the crusty little ponytail that I have. Ugh, I saw those clips and I did not look good and so did that hair. Anyways, here I am with a Love and Beauty Planet, well I'm sorry, Love Beauty and Planet shampoo. What I do, I do it in the middle, left and right side of my head and hair I guess. And then I'm gonna scrub it, scrub scrub. Oh, and here is the conditioner of the Love Beauty and Planet. It's pretty good for curly hair, I've been using it for a little bit. And each product is under $10 so I was like, you know what, let me go try it out. It feels pretty good. And I believe that it smells pretty good as well. Sulfate free. Sulfate free is good for your hair, especially. And it is vegan and animal uh, cruelty free, so I love that. All I'm gonna do is rinse out the conditioner as well. All right, and then I have a hair mask that I will be leaving in for about 15 to 20 minutes. But I remember here that I did it for around 25 to 30 minutes, only because my hair was a little kind of wet so I wanted to dry out a little bit longer which isn't it wasn't too bad you know it wasn't too bad for my hair so all I'm gonna do is just kind of dry it out you know how it is all right so 30 minutes are up or 25 or 30 minutes get that disgusting ponytail out again Ugh, that's disgusting look at that it looks kind of dry already like I said my hair is dry anyways I'm gonna rinse it out I'm not going to wash it out that would defeat the purpose and here I am with Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. This is what I do right before I even leave the shower. I put it left and right side of my hair, sometimes the bangs as well. And not even just the left and right side, I kind of put it in my scalp as well. All right, oh, wait, yeah, there's a clip right and left, all over the place as well. Oh, and through the scalp, you can't forget the scalp. We need that in our roots. Alright, so since that's all done, I'm gonna get out the shower, I'm done, I feel squeaky clean, I'm, you know, it's just been a long day for me. Okay, anyways, I'm done here. Peace. Okay, so I, I am out of the shower, as you can see, um, I'm going to... this off? And I understand that this is a completely different color towel, if you may have noticed. Um, the other video, well, the other clip showed I was wearing a white towel, uh, I mean a uh, yellow towel, only because there were some complications and I had to do the whole process again, which made me like a different towel. But anyways, that's all over with. And I forgot to mention while I was in the shower, not only did I put in my leave-in conditioner, but um, as my hair was wet, I decided to put my Cantu curling cream in the shower while it was wet. And all I did was brush it through while I applied the um, product in that way. It sinks into my hair and the product is, with, is within my scalp and my curls. So since my hair is not completely dry, all I'm going to do is that I'm going to diffuse my hair. Uh, this is a really old hair dryer. It was so many years ago, I really need to buy a new one. But this is something I can work with now. Um, but before I do that, what I want to do is that I have been, ever since I bought this, um, I've been using it, like, I bought it yesterday. So, I used it, you know, uh, while I was in the shower, and now I'm wondering if I should use it before or after I diffuse my hair. Hmm, I will do a little bit, you know, because I am, I just need more oils in my hair because my hair, I feel like my hair is a little dry. 
and I can't uh, I can't keep abusing this oil because I feel like you know when you use too much product it will like make your hair really heavy. Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrunch it up. No, it's not too much, so I don't really have to worry about that. So I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna dry my hair with this old diffuser. So this might take a while. Okay, so everything is nice and dry. Uh, don't worry, I did only foundation and my little eyebrows off camera along with drying the rest of my hair uh, off camera as well. Uh, you didn't miss anything, don't worry about it. It took a uh, good 10 minutes. So all I did is just diffuse my hair. It's pretty dry now. Um, now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try and pick out my hair. So, But before I do, unfortunately, I don't have a pick of my own. So what I normally do is that I just use one of the um, big teeth combs that I have. I believe in my opinion it's not as effective as a pig. So if you have a pig, you can go use that. But what I kind of do is that, you know, I try to at least pick up my hair with the comb. It doesn't really take long anyways. Everything is all picked out, everything's dry, all products are in. Um, I won't be doing the rest of my makeup look um, because I am trying to be uh, more natural so that means less makeup. I am um, not going to wear lashes or lipstick anymore because, uh, you know, it just takes too much work. So a girl is learning how to be more natural and beautiful at the same time. Um, but besides that, uh, I know that the video is kind of short but this is a a little routine or something new that I, I am also trying in the process because you know during my whole hair journey I am trying new things and I still want to learn more things new hairstyles because I haven't really tried new hairstyles which is what I want to learn in the future all I've been doing is leaving my hair out with all the little this basic hair routines every single day so it would be nice to learn something new once in a while for hairstyles um, but if you guys did enjoy it, you can try it out too um, or just like let me know what I can try because I am down to try new things of course and uh, yeah uh, that will be the end of the video I do hope that you guys enjoyed it uh, this is my little hair routine I guess um, but yeah I will be back with another video um, I do hope that you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching